of Science and Technology, Minister of State in PMO and Vice President CSIR. The first woman Director General of CSIR. May I? Positive energies radiating. The inaugural function has started. The claps can continue. We are all having the blessings of Ma Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge and wisdom. In Central Europe, uh, this is one of the leading companies, Himalaya So I asked the investors there, Sarbia, on the daily So they May I request everyone to rise on their respective chairs for the national anthem? Dr. Zabir Ahmed, he is also the organizing chairman of the international. Another great day in the life of CSIR people in Jammu. Science and Technology, Minister of State in PMO and Vice President CSIR. The first woman Director General of CSIR. May I? The positive energy is radiating. The inaugural function has started. The claps can continue. We are all having the blessings of Ma Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge and wisdom. People I am is concerned, as was being mentioned by Dr. Zabir and later also by Dr. Kalai Selvi, that this happens to be the oldest institute under the umbrella of the CSIR. And I think the most notable feature is that it came into being long before independence of the year 1942 or so. But somehow, it has remained both underrated as well as understated. So when I say underrated, maybe I mean that it does not receive the kind of stature that it deserved, at least visibly, apparently. And when I say understated, that it is seldom mentioned in many of our scientific parlance, in spite of the huge, huge contribution made by this premier institute of India. And it was founded by Dr. Ramnath Chopra, who later on came to be known as the father of pharmacology in India. It was quite a contradiction that he was not adequately remembered over here. It was just 10 years back I suggested, and I think Professor Ahuja was the Director General, and we got a statue of his installed over here in the premises, which you have noticed when you walk into this auditorium. And he was one of that uh, group of the first-line scientists who had already made their name for themselves much before India became independent.